Hi neighbors, it is I, Jerry Allen. Welcome back to Cooking with Neighbors. Today I am making a seafood dip. It's quick and simple, delicious, and doing this with Ian Good over on his channel. He's doing football food, it's going to be delicious, and there's a hashtag in the title and a hashtag in the description if you click it. It will take you to a playlist of uh, food done for football by Ian Good and others that joined in on his open collaboration. Okay, so in a bowl I have 8 ounces of cream cheese, 250 grams. I'm going to add half a cup of mayonnaise, a half a cup of sour cream, a half a tablespoon of lemon juice, half a tablespoon of Worcestershire, one teaspoon of minced garlic, or you can use a bit of garlic powder and onion powder if you want. I'm going to mush this up. You want this cream together. Get yourself a casserole dish of some sort. Uh, a 9 by 13 will work. Mine's a little smaller than that. I like putting it in this just because it looks nice. It look nice. So we're going to put this in here. Now get yourself a uh, jar of cocktail sauce, 250 uh, mils or a cup, uh, around 250, so like a cup's worth. And then I'm just going to carefully put this on. I want to carefully spread it. I don't want to, I want it to be layered. This is a tangy one. You can get hot medium, mild, tangy. So, now I have a can of uh, crab meat. So you want cooked crab, right? Chunks of it, shreds of it. I wouldn't have it too big because you want it to fit on your chips and crackers or whatever you're serving it with. And you're going to sprinkle your crab meat with clean hands. So I strain the juices off of uh, my crab meat. And you want this all over. Everybody gets a bite. Wash my hands again. shrimp. Sprinkle them around. All together you like to have like a cup worth of whatever you decide to use. Like if you want to do all shrimp or you want to do all crab or a bit of both. You want at least a cup worth or, or give or take. A little bit in there, show ya. With my cheese grater, I use the finer side, not this side, okay? Do the finer side. It's easier for uh, picking up on uh, crackers and whatnot, okay? It tastes good too. So now I have about two cups of mozzarella. You can use marble. I wouldn't use anything too, too strong because you want the flavor of the seafood dip, uh, like the coming through. You don't want to, don't want to overpower it with a strong cheese. So, chopped up all together, and I'm, see how much I use. This is a large green pepper. 
and chop it up more fine if you like. This is, I, I chopped up a few uh, Roman, Roman tomatoes because if you, whatever tomato you use, you want to make sure that it's, uh, you take the uh, seeds and the liquid out of it because you don't want this to turn runny on you. You just want the tomato part. And then I want some green onion. three stems of uh, green onion. Now the rest of my cocktail shrimp. Show you what's next. Okay. I put it in the fridge for like two hours just so that it all kind of, the flavors kind of marry together there. And you can serve with Ritz crackers or some corn chips. You do that focus thing. Anyway. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Enjoy your Sunday, everyone. Take care. God bless. Tune in next week. I'm going to make another football treat. I can't wait to share this. Chat soon.